which is what we don't want to have happen. After being diagnosed with bone cancer at the age of 12, Brock Potts' right leg was amputated above the knee. And while he's now cancer free, growing up with a prosthesis was a challenge. It's just having all those blisters wrapped around the whole leg. Some days you just can't help it, just grunt your teeth and bite the pain, but you got to do what you got to do. It's a common issue for amputees. The pressure and friction of bearing body weight on their residual limb makes every step painful. Now a new procedure offered by surgeons at the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center, James Cancer Hospital and Solov Research Institute that involves a technologically advanced prosthetic limb is addressing these issues and allowing for much greater mobility by implanting a metal rod into the bone and allowing the body to heal around it. As the bone is becomes strong enough to walk, they then can feel it moving and it integrates it's very similar to the normal leg. Once healed, using the prosthetic is as easy as snapping it into place. This not only removes pressure and prevents pain, but provides much more natural movement when combined with a procedure called targeted muscle re which reattaches severed nerves to remaining muscle. Rerouting those nerves prepares the limb to integrate with electrodes that allow patients to control their artificial limb with their brain. And so really we're creating sort of the Luke Skywalker effect in Star Wars of the brain uh, trying to move a body part the way it normally would, and it actually does move the prosthesis because the nerve is firing in a similar way. For Brock, it's helped him to think about his leg less and enjoy life more. I can actually enjoy going to the zoo and uh, with my family to go places that require long walking and not have the worry that I'm going to be in pain. At the Ohio State Comprehensive Cancer Center, James Cancer Hospital, and Solove Research Institute, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.